Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Arsenal and Brazilian starlet Gabriel Martinelli nears his return after an extended layoff due to a cartilage injury in his knee that has now kept him out for over six months. The player was first cleared for partial training, then he participated in 45 minutes of the under-21 game versus Wimbledon, and then he's now most recently been cleared for full training with the first team. The question becomes, what are Arsenal's physio, training, and coaching staff looking for all along the process and then clearing him for the next step up in intensity? So during activity, there's four key things they're looking for. The first is the quality of the movement. For example, is he compensating side to side? have his movement or mechanics patterns changed at all compared to his previous normal. Secondly, they're looking for his confidence of movement. For example, how does he look during 50-50 challenges? Is he going in with confidence or is he backing out? The reason for that is because we know that after an extended layoff, the mental challenges can be as difficult, if not more difficult than the physical ones. And overcoming those barriers and hurdles is a critical part to recovery. Thirdly, they'll be looking for how his endurance is holding up during a match and then how that affects his quality and confidence of movement. For example, I was told that after his 45 minutes in the under 21 match, he was extremely exhausted, but his movement overall held up pretty well. Fourthly, you have physiological metrics during activity. For example, you can track his distance covered, his speed, and also biological markers, your cardiometabolic data, which then gives you more insight into his physical fitness and recovery. Between activity, whether that's training or matches, there's three key things the physios, training, and coaching staff are looking for. The first thing is you have to assess if there's pain or discomfort, that's probably the most obvious one, but there's more nuance in that you wanna make sure, is that pain or discomfort coming from areas you would expect or that you wouldn't expect? Secondly, within that same umbrella is how much discomfort is he having? Discomfort comes on a scale, on a range. It's not a binary yes or no. And there are certain acceptable ranges of pain or discomfort in certain areas. Now lastly within the pain and discomfort umbrella is how long is that discomfort or soreness lasting for because again there's an acceptable amount of time that you're looking for which indicates that you're not overloading the player. Secondly you want to assess how Martinelli is responding during off-session activities for example how is he doing during his strength and conditioning? How is he doing during physio assessments? Because that gives you more information into the full picture. And then thirdly, you again, you have the biometric data to give you more detailed insight into how he's recovering. Now, moving forward, I fully expect Martinelli to keep playing in some of these under 21 games to again keep rebuilding his physical and mental fitness before he's then slowly reintroduced into the first team. And again, I expect that to be gradual as well, not only for the physical and mental reacclimation, but also because Arteta now has been moving towards a 4-2-3-1 and eventually likely a 4-3-3. So there's different tactical demands that Martinelli now has to do on the pitch. So of course you wanna naturally build him up in that regard as well. One note on expectations. I know we're all excited to see this talented young kid back on the pitch, but give him some time, give him some breathing space to, to make mistakes and rebuild all those factors we've talked about.